right. Well, it's close enough. So, hey, welcome to Dice Junkies. This is our live uh, podcast, YouTube, uh, Twitch. Uh, well, it's only live on Twitch, but it ends up in all these other places as well. I'm here with Q. And I'm Zeno Damus. Hope you enjoy. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's get started. Uh, what? Uh, let's see. We 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 posted about the Alabama Con we were at last weekend, which is why we didn't have a live show last Sunday. Um, did y'all miss us? <laughs> we uh, we did our giveaway with Vans. It was uh, Keith. Lynn, uh, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> I said it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that always usually works out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, he already knows he won. We already posted it, so it doesn't really matter if I get his name right now or not. Yeah, it makes it sound so legit. Like, we gave it to Keith. We gave it to a dude named Keith. When? It happened. It totally <laughs> happened. <laughs> oh. Real prizes were given out to real people. <laughs> It was, it was it was done at Vans. So, I mean, it's also posted on the Facebook. Well, yeah, so. by responsible people. Yeah, I posted it on the Facebook. Oh, then by irresponsible people. <laughs> I'm assuming Travis and the uh, Vans crew yeah. posted it properly I, I'm, with the I'm, right I'm, name. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure Travis did, but uh, that that <laughs> just just because uh, oh, never mind. I don't even feel like arguing about it. Right don't now. even bother defending yourself. Yeah. Just take it. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Well, as I was talking before you came back, I was telling you know we talk about you did a little little intro to Dice Junkies. We talk about games and all that. Said we hadn't been a lot of exciting news, but now I think about it, actually, uh, from Up Advance, we heard some uh, glowing recommendations for Sea of Thieves. Oh yeah, we did. We talked about Sea of Thieves. They they were having a blast with that. I still haven't got around to playing it yet. I mean, uh, normally you, I'm not a big uh, end of the big cooperative genre games, you know. Didn't ever really mess with PUBG or Fortnite. I think you played a little PUBG. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the, we've been told that Sea of Thieves is just an amazing interactive experience with, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just a full, you get in there with your crew and it's just really on another level uh, for simulating this pirate experience. You know, uh, Far Cry 5 also came out. I've heard good and bad things about it. It looks awesome, though. I haven't seen a playthrough yet. Normally, it starts popping up on YouTube, and I start watching the guys play it. But Because um, I haven't really played any of the Far Cry's, though I've watched enough of it that I probably know more than I have a business known about the Far Cry series. <laughs> uh, I'm really curious to see how that's going to play out, because, I mean, it already was controversial before it released. Yeah. And I'm curious how that played out when it actually came out so i want to watch like get off your butts markiplier jack somebody get on there and play the dang game so i can watch it you know because <laughs> i mean it's not my cup of tea but i enjoy watching people go through it yeah yeah you know, i never played like uh the drake games uncharted and all of that Ugh. i have them i still haven't played them though I mean, if they were co-op, like, oh man, this stuff was couch co-op. It'd be on. Well, then that's my biggest problem with the type the type of game. Like, I'm mostly, I'm mostly a role play game type of guy, mm -hmm. and uh, for me to play a lot of these more story and action type games, I really want there to be um, a co-op. You know, that I can play with my friends. I can yell at my friends to sort of keep me more interested. Yeah, especially because, I mean, as you know, I'm really bad about it. You're, you're not as nearly as, you're way more diverse than me in that I don't really play any non-sci-fi or fantasy games. I mean, the real world's boring to me. So, like, when I'm going to play a game like this, especially, I, I need that or I'm going to get bored. I mean, if there's not yeah. at least zombies or something, I'm not going to stay interested. So, for me to play a game like most of the Far Cry series, even though I know one of the Far Cry's got kind of warrior tattoo Got got a little out there. I'm gonna need uh, another player to play with because I mean it's way more fun to try to survive these scenarios with a friend uh, when you're you know you're you're in these action shootouts. So I, I'm a big proponent of uh, games like this being co-op. 
Otherwise, I'd rather be playing an RPG sandbox. Uh, you know, more straight RPG sandbox with fantasy or some other uh, elements. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Uh, oh, and then we, I guess we looked at the news today because we were like, ah, uh, let's see if anything happened that we didn't catch. Let's go scourge through the news. Or, and then we realized it was April 1st and that uh, we couldn't trust anything. Yeah, like, it's filled with lies. Lies, it's, lies, and lies. So, so, I was looking at him, I was just looking at the news, I'm going, like, I wouldn't believe anything yes. that is in the news So today. many, so many lies. So many, many, many lies. Speaking of lies, though, I mean, uh, let's see, Ga- uh, PC Gamer did a uh, a roundup for April Fool's 2018. Here, let's see if we'll share this. Uh, there we go. So... Is that supposed to be Golden Gun and 007 or? <laughs> oh, man, yeah, the Golden Gun would uh, anyway. be awesome. That needs to be more. Uh, so, yeah, there was uh, the Halo game release. Uh, Alan Wake developer Remedy Entertainment becomes a coffee company. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, Razor's develop- d- developing uh, Venom Serum version two. Because, you know, you're what's slowing down their awesome computers. Like, yeah. The computers yeah. are incredible, but the users aren't keeping up with the technology. Um, NVIDIA Game University, let's see, NVIDIA GeForce Game University has opened its virtual doors, uh, offering courses in eSports management. Loot Boxes, a Socratic seminar. Oh, boy. And what's a Fortnite? And uh, one of the Redditors um, on the Cyberpunk 27.7 thread did a uh, A very convincing review thread that threw a lot of people off. Because, you know, Cyberpunk 27, 2077 doesn't even have a release date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I also would like to give my review. And my review is, it was really awesome when it finally got here. <laughs> that is my review. Let's see. Google's new handwriting keyboard. Uh, Smite. Releases, releases Fenrir again. <laughs> Fenrir again. Black Mesa adds loot boxes. Oh, there you, there you go, Black Mesa. Is that, okay. is that a joke, though, or not? I mean, how close are we to... <laughs> I mean, loot boxes are finding a way to everything. They're selling me my Dragon Ball <laughs> Z uh, fighter characters one at a time. And I tell you that, I went and bought Brawley and Bardock, but I had mm-hmm. to buy them separately at five bucks each. Oh, yeah, Black Mesa, that's uh, the, the, the Half-Life remake? Okay. Yeah, you know, that's coming out. Man. Half-Life 3 will be out soon. Half-Life 3. Uh, we had a discussion about that. I was talking to a friend of mine, and it's just like, yeah, you know, they should eventually get around to making the next Half-Life, but instead of calling it Half-Life 3, just call it Half-Life 4 and just forget that 3 ever should have existed. Yeah, I'd be like, what? Y'all didn't, have, y'all didn't play Half-Life 3? Yeah, yeah man, been, came man it came out it was a while awesome. back. Yeah. You know what's great about that is have a bunch of references <laughs> to Half-Life 3. Like, yeah, when yeah. we left off, and he's strangling like that dude. <laughs> it's like he strangled the mysterious man. Yeah, damn. Yeah. He turns around and shells with them. It's like, let's go, Shell. Can you believe what we went through to get here? And just everybody's like, what? But yeah, just just release, ha- release Half-Life 4. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but you gotta reference Half Life Three mm-hmm. and just make it like Half Life Three was the greatest game ever. <laughs> oh. know, after their boss fight with Glados, <laughs> it's just Shell and friggin' uh oh man, the dude with the glasses. <laughs> I forgot his name. It's been a long time. And that, well, it has. It has. What it was <laughs> in the nineties when Half Life Two came out, wasn't it? I got a feeling that um that uh what is it StarCraft Ghosts will come out before Half Life Three. Let's see Half Life. No, no, okay, it wasn't quite that long. It was two thousand four when Half Life Two came out. Dude, that's still like fourteen years. Well, yeah, fourteen years, and where, as far as we know, they haven't even started it. Like I said, StarCraft. Well, no, Ghost I, will I come honestly out. just don't see. I, I don't think they're ever making any more games. I think they're just done. We'll be playing I ninth generation D and D. You know, be like D and D ninth edition. Now you throw your dice at people. <laughs> if I hit you with my well, D twenty, that's a critical. It's like LARPing, right? You throw... Lightning bolt, lightning, lightning bolt, bolt. <laughs> fireball. <laughs> Pelt people with a bunch of D sixes. Ah, lightning bolt. I actually like that new version, man. However many D sixes I hit you with is the damage you take from the fireball. Like you got to stop and land the dice. You know what? They need to combine it with laser tag. When you hit them with the dice, it generates a number and shows there. There, there you, you go. go. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I just came with the new next generation. We need to combine laser tag with LARPing. 
and actually program in damage values when you hit somebody. Oh my God! A panel has the yeah, number. You could even you could even random randomly generate a number right there on the panel. No, I'm saying like if I hit you with my sword, it my sword sent my little panel sends the damage information and it pops up on you. Your little panel goes, oh, I took nine damage, and there you go. Laser tag meets LARPing. That idea was already stolen before I finished that sentence. <laughs> They're somewhere in Korea. I, I'm making sure. It now. I'm sure it's already been attempted or something and just didn't go over well. I'm cutting edge, man. I, uh, it's being done now, though. Yeah, like right now. Most any idea I've ever come up with, once I've Googled it, 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 it. <laughs> well, you know, you're not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How um, dare you compare us? <laughs> I. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. We have somebody viewing. Who are you? Identify yourself. <laughs> we know you're out there. We, we can we, see you. We see you. <laughs> <laughs> they say, speak up. But no, um, who also doesn't care to deal with family on Easter? <laughs> hey, I did my family stuff yesterday. Oh, in order to get it over with, you know, I did the whole church thing and all that. Yeah, I didn't do it because I figure I'm about as close to accurate as the church is about when he really rose. Like I think they're guessing. <laughs> I think it's an estimate. So yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. I, I yesterday I um I went shopping, got some groceries. <laughs> well, you know, you're you're a heathen. But, uh, <laughs> I'm not, sir. So I'm just lazy and therefore knock it all out before Sunday. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, it's a Vans. Oh, ah. Vans sh- just snuck in. <laughs> I mean, it's a random fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, whoever you are, you should go support your local comic book store. store there you go. While supporting it, make sure you drop by Papa John's Pizza. Yeah, or eat, their eat, pizza. eat Papa John's. <laughs> eat Papa John's on your way to your local comic book store. Oh. <laughs> no, but I mean, uh, it, it's odd doing this on Easter because, like, there's little news, and the news out there, like you said, can't be trusted because of April Fool's. And I'm not allowed to talk about all the wonderful things happening in that big house down there in that one state. Washington, uh, D.C. Okay, keep uh, up, man. Sorry. You, you you already barred me today I'm, from no, getting... No, 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 yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not talking politics, buddy. But there's so much fun stuff happening. <laughs> At this point, it's not even about your political views. It's just uh, funny. It's just I'm, I was sort of. I just hoped in all politics was just one really long April Fool's joke, and it was going to come to an end today. But uh, <laughs> It's all coming to an end if things keep going the way they're going. <laughs> But like I said, uh, I, I believe we've gone past the concept. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy Easter. But um, let's see. We've uh, <laughs> we've got off track. So of course we I didn't mean, have a track. Don't lie. We we have yeah. no concept of what to talk about. So therefore, um, <laughs> we are we are winging it like we've never winged it before. before. Uh, let's Deadpool see. Two is going to be coming out. I know. So, uh, yeah, uh, Ready Player that. One came out this weekend. Like. Uh, you know what I'm I've been hearing? Most what? people were saying that they wish they just stuck with the, the, the game side of it because apparently that was so awesome. A lot of people stopped caring what was happening in the real world. That was yeah. fun. I don't know. That's no spoilers, but I heard people going like, man, the, the graphics and stuff, were the, the nostalgia and the CG scenes were actually really fun. So some of the people I follow on YouTube that reviewed it were like, I could have been happy if they just stuck with that. But very few people seem to be as upset as I expected. Uh, don't note, everybody I've seen that's reviewed it has not read the book. Yeah. So I will admit that I continuously have been hearing, well, I didn't read the book. Hmm. But hey, After this, you want to go watch Ready Player One? Uh, if you want to. I sort of do. Let's see, we can catch at 7 o'clock. We're making different plans while we're doing our live stream. That's hilarious. <laughs> well, man, I, I sort of, I've been thinking about it, and I was going to watch it actually yesterday. Uh, while I was not doing anything, but I couldn't find it. I hate going to the theater by myself, and all my friends were doing uh, stuff with family. Oh, so, look yeah. at you. you don't I want know, to be right? By yourself. But no. you know, but you bring the black guy, he's going to talk. Yeah, I've, I've learned to tune you out. I'm so, going to be like, so, look, so, it's, it's the giant robot. I, I can I can tune you out now, so I don't even hear you. Look, it's Freddy Krueger. Yeah, most of, most of the time uh, most of the time we're doing this podcast, I don't even hear Did you. Did you know so. that Freddy Krueger was in a movie? I mean, it's like, did you say something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was actually mocking our editor just out there when she was telling us, like, did you know Will Smith was a rapper? We were like, yeah. really? Yeah, <laughs> if... if if this episode sucks, blame our editor because she she decided that uh, she was doing family stuff and she also didn't show up today. So, <laughs> well, you know, some people 
do stuff like that. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, like I said, we're we're expecting a lot of people are out doing the thing. Uh, but but back on Ready Player One, I mean, uh, I'm willing to see it now just because I've heard that like it was entertaining. Uh, the, there are a few plot holes, but not in me in any like apparently they even have different puzzles. Like that's the thing I didn't expect. Like there is a description of a puzzle that is not the puzzle we remember from the books. So I was like, whoa. Well, I mean, I figured that. I mean, honestly, if you look, there's a lot of imagery that wasn't included in the book. Uh, they, yeah, but it's different from switching out your references to the actual yeah. puzzles. Like I just figured they would maybe speed up a bridge, it bridge the puzzle, so that it wasn't this long drawn out. Probably like, oh, here's the. Je- well, actually, I don't know if it's in the movie. So here's the one first puzzle. You know, yeah. here's the second puzzle. But apparently, they went like, "No, nah, we're doing." But whole I mean, new puzzles. the other thing is, is I mean, we saw we saw scenes that are obviously them them changing the story pretty hard. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I'm going to go in. I'm going to view it as a movie that is not based off of a book, and mm-hmm. see if I enjoy it that way. Then we'll come um, back and describe how it changes race relations in America and the effect it has <laughs> on uh, the political climate. Uh, and the way we view Africa. Oh wait, that's a different movie. That yeah, movie yeah, was awesome. Yeah. Okay. You, you're, you're everybody. Everybody's still on Black Panther, man. Everybody's gonna still be on Black Panther, mm. dude. The movie's like I think the highest grossing superhero movie now. It actually topped no, out. I'm not saying it wasn't a good movie and everything. I'm just saying uh, I, I'm getting sick of it because it's just every time I, I pull up the news or every time I pull up YouTube. There's more stuff about Black Panther. It's almost like Infinity War. I'm getting sick of Infinity War and ain't even out yet because every time I turn around, it's Infinity War or Black Panther. I, I'll admit that I, I'm not as bothered because I'm I'm done. I've seen the movie and I liked it. So to me, it's like great. It did good. What's mm-hmm. next? So that's why I'm not too concerned about. It. Well, I see no, Black apparently, Panther, what's I next show. is Infinity War, and they won't shut up about it. And Infinity uh, War is a whole <laughs> different thing. And honestly, <laughs> I, I'm gonna say something blasphemous. Infinity War is going to be a hit or miss like nothing ever seen. It is either going to be loved or hated. This is going to be like The Last Jedi. It is going to be a love or hate because they're definitely not going to follow the comic book story. The more I look at the trailers, they're not going to follow the comic book story that closely. Whether the people like the new way they go with it is going to be a grab bag. I mean, they don't have high enough of a power level to follow... The comic book story. Or the number of characters, They don't man. have enough characters to follow the comic book there, story. There are huge, pivotal characters to what happened in that story that haven't, yeah. that existence has not even been hinted But, at. I mean, why, why, would you, why would you even imagine that would follow the comic book story anyway when none of the movies have followed well, no, the you, comic book story? You, well, like so. I said, apparently you do tune me out because I followed up by going, so the new direction they go with it will either be loved or hated. Either way, it's going to be yeah. new, but whether it sells... See what I mean? Like like Thor Ragnarok, they changed a lot of the way all that works. Big time. The way Rag the way Asgard works in the comic. Hell was changed a lot. Oh yeah. She is not freaking well, I mean, a daughter of Odin. I mean uh, like, no, in the comics, Elena is uh Loki's so, Loki's daughter. So. And, and so is the dog. So Fen- Fenrir, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, they they flipped the story around and it worked. But Will it work again when they do it with Infinity Wars? I don't know. I think I'm going to love the movie regardless because I can separate the comics and the movies pretty good. I mean, I love the new Spider-Man and Homecoming was nowhere near any of the Spider-Man comics I remember reading at all. Uh, Very different. Uh, You know, especially the whole Iron Man. I mean, yeah. But I liked it. So I think I'll be able to like it, but doesn't mean anybody's going to agree with me. I guess that as, as, as far as matching anything the comics do... I, I have no preconception when I w- watch anything that is part of the MCU that it is going oh, yeah. to match. Like I said, it's a rewrite. I'm, I'm wondering yeah. about how's it. I mean, well, there you go. But I mean, we're also. I mean, honestly, if you're if you're used to comics, there's constant rewrite storylines and you know multi universe and all that anyway. So it's just like eh. and some of those are hated. Yeah, <laughs> some of those are hated. So we'll see if people like the way the Marvel. Because this is going to be the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This is going to involve such mm-hmm. big elements. It's going to be a big shaping factor. If they screw this up, they can screw up the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe by making their whole ethos and how their reality works fall off. That's a problem when you get to these big power levels, man. You, when oh, you start yeah. setting up the pantheon well, that's also, your Honestly, it's a, it's a chance. I mean, didn't they say they were only making like three movies of each of the characters? 
like three solo movies of each of the characters. And honestly, I don't think three is necessary. I, I know people well, are going to hate though, me for this, but of, I don't really want a Black Panther two solo yeah. movie. Some some of the characters have already hit their three marks. I mean, maybe this is a good time to wipe the slate. That's been theorized those, uh, that they're going to do that. Those though. three movie characters. Though where do you go after that? But I, I'm, I, well, I, I mean, like, we, we have a lot of other characters we still haven't talked about and introduced in the, in the universe. I, uh, I want to see some crossover in Black Panther 2. Uh, if they do Black Panther 2, I think trying to do a solo, because there's solo attempts to do that. Everybody's second solo movie kind of sucked uh, in Marvel Cinematic Universes. And that's why I'm going like, oh, go ahead and, and throw in a couple extra characters. Flesh it out a no, little I, bit, No, I like man. the idea of the, of the secondary movies, you know, like they did with... Um, Captain America, you know, where they actually bring in some of the other characters. Yeah. I, I like that. But look um, how excited we got at the end you know, of the with, trailer when Spider-Man, you already don't think if you have Spider-Man yeah. met Doctor Strange, I was like, ooh, with the next Doctor Strange with Spider-Man in it? That but, would be uh, freaking awesome. Yeah, you know, Thor with Hulk. It's the first mm -hmm. first Thor movie that was worth watching. Um, yeah, I'll admit it. Uh, Thor 1 and 2 were completely trumped by Thor 3. And I'll admit that I, I went because Thor, I went because Hulk was in there. I, I will admit that Hulk drew me to see the third movie, or else I probably would have not even shown up. Yeah. I mean, when I kept talking about it, all I talked about is the Thor and Hulk movie. I called it the Thor and Hulk movie. Um, who would make, there you go. You want to spend a little more time. Who would make a good uh, crossover in a Black Panther movie? I mean,. As badass as Black Panther is, Hulk is way too high tier. There's no problem that the Black Panther could face. Well, I mean, Hulk they, they, they on. Um, not to be too spoilerish or anything, but I mean, they sort of hinted towards possibly a Winter Soldier could be uh, tied in with Black Panther. It's not the most interesting character, though. Um, also, I mean, you're also looking at a uh, at a Black Panther that will be more tied in with the rest of the world so you don't necessarily have to have it happen in Wakanda I think he might be um, one of the replacement Avengers when they start killing off could the other be, ones could now, be a replacement be Avenger, uh, um, Avenger yeah. I mean there's been rumors that we might get White Soul, uh, the Winter Soldier uh, replacing replace Captain, Captain America, America yeah. um, you could uh, you could knock Iron Man out for a bit I mean Robert Downey Jr. cost a lot of money, so he could you not. You think he could be replaced by Iron Spider? Um, no, I would just say you, you throw Black Panther in there. Uh, I mean, you tie in his sister helping on the tech side, and you've got a lot of that that problem solved of losing losing yeah, Stark. The vibranium tech's up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it could we could see Cap and uh, Iron Man out of the out of the running, uh, especially Cap. I think Cap's gonna die. Uh, Cap is well, that's, a, that's one, of the, big, sure that's one of the big rumored characters. I Cap. think Thor may die, but as per normal, I don't think it'll stick. No. I mean, by his very nature. Don't yeah. grab your mic like that. You're going to make weird noises in the mic. Oh. Yeah. Squee. Uh, uh, but um, <laughs> essentially, I believe that Thor may get a temporary hiatus. Um, we may see Hulk get swapped out for new Hulk, even though they haven't introduced uh, uh, Cho. You know, they they may start trying to bring in the new comics, and Hulk yeah. Banner may drop out for one of the newer Hulks, or maybe they'll grab Scar. I mean, he he was real he was real sweet yeah, on that they, Valkyrie. They could, they could bring in She Hulk. Uh, she Hulk would be an awesome character. I think she's always been entertaining. She's mm -hmm. a female powerhouse, a lawyer. I've always been surprised she's not been a more popular uh, female character. I'd love to see She Hulk. Yeah, that that'd be cool. Though, of course, we got Captain. They'd have to play around with the story to pull that off. We do have Captain Marvel coming up, so that help her. <laughs> I'm still mad about what she what she did to Cap, man, and, and just, well, no, what she did to Banner. Yeah, y'all don't follow the the comic book fans know what she's done. They know her crimes. <laughs> I thought you were mad about it or about what she did to Shazam, but uh, well, you know. The original Captain Marvel. It's all right. He can be called Shazam. It's a <laughs> terrible name, but it works. Maybe it'll slowly make Which, us forget that that once was a horrible oh, Shaq movie. That you know that needs to fade into the the, the, the history as a oh, lost well, memory. The, the Shazam movie is looking pretty rough uh, from what I've seen. It's a weird concept to visualize. I mean, they've tried to do animated versions, and it mm -hmm. it wasn't exactly gold. 
Now, I love Black Adam. He's freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. The villain. Black mm -hmm. Adam is cool. But, I mean, he's like a, an Egyptian. I mean, it's just his story is not nearly as yeah. cheesy. All right. But it's like kid meets wizard. Wizard goes, I'm going to give you magic powers. All right. You got anything else, man? You got anything that's happened this week you want to talk about? I downloaded Brawly. I have destroyed with Brawly. Oh, yeah. You got the expansion for uh, the Dragon Bardock. Ball Fighters. I have crushed Frieza many times with Bardock. Um, Defeat Frieza with Bardock in Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and you will get a scene that is the best what if I've seen in years. Yeah, I finally had some time to get back on Kingdom Deliverance and realize that the uh, two weeks that I haven't played it, I have uh, lost my edge quite a bit. It took me a while to get back into the uh, that fighting style. It's still just a it's it's an interesting system. I like the system, but it's not like any other uh, system. So it's it's hard to jump back into after being out of for a couple of weeks. I think the, the combat system is one of their high points, but it did look like there was a lot more to their combat system. Oh, no, it it is one to me. It is one of the best medieval melee systems uh, that I've seen. Well, you know, you just added to my wish list then, because I really now I wish they would take that and put that in Skyrim. Oh, Skyrim yeah. could use a better combat system. Take Skyrim's story and playstyle. Mm -hmm. Throw in a good sword combat system. Well, because they have the they have a star system when it comes to slashing, so you Ooh. can slash up, you know, Ooh, that sounds like overhead so and stuff like that. But and then it also has a defensive system in which you can counter if you counter at the right time, you actually get a counter attack in, and you know, with the blocking and. Um, I would so, play yeah. through Skyrim until like nine more times, man, just to try that out if they could get that combat. And system. then um, if, as you build up your fighting skills, you actually unlock combos. So you can do a, uh, you know, upward slash, side slash, side slash, and then stab, and then it will do a special, special attack with doing that combo. Uh, yeah. Um, now that's actually starting to sound fun. I wasn't impressed with the game before, but every time I saw you playing it, you were like gambling and getting drunk. So I didn't even know <laughs> there was a lot of combat. Like I walk in here and he's just like, I'm losing a dice again, or I'm hanging out with a priest in a field and there's a goat. And I was like, this game's not what I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it has a lot of elements to it. I've put in, uh, I looked at my hours the other day. Cause I was like, how many hours have I actually played this thing? And I'm like 70 something hours. So. It scared me the other day as I looked through Steam and oh god, what was it? Is it Elder Scrolls? Like Elder Scrolls or Fallout? I have like a number of hours that was alarming. Like it was, I was like, oh my god, I think I've spent months playing this game. I'm in like the hundreds of hundreds. Oh god, I don't even want to think about. It. Let's see, where is uh, Skyrim? 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 It's Skyrim. under Elder Scrolls. That's right. Yeah, like my total hours was alarming. Where are the total hours at? Uh, there we go. Huh? I've you played... have 73 minutes on Skyrim Special Edition. Oh, yeah. 190. Yeah, I've got more than that. Yeah, yeah I've got more than that. <laughs> and then Fallout 4. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Hit Fallout 4. I'm curious what you look like on it. And uh, there you go. 330 hours. That's respectable. That's respectable. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, Fallout 4. Well, first of all, like Elder Scrolls Skyrim, I actually had a copy of it before I got it on Steam. Um, uh, so that's not your total hours then, really. Yeah. Like Grim Dawn, 206 hours. Oh, I got like four, yeah. Four or 500 on Grim Dawn. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to click on some of these really cheesy games because I actually have way too many hours on some of on those. some of the crap ones? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at you. Got some XCOM hours under your yeah, belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Your anyway, skill, that's, that's, that's kind of, I mean, uh, we're, 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 uh, we're just rambling now, so I think we're going to end this segment. Thanks for watching. We, we hope you enjoyed. Let's, let's